Oh yeah, week one. That's the easy one. Now, off to week two. Starting off the season, one and zero. Hey. Okay. It's a good day to talk some football. No one really knows what's going to happen with the futures of running back Saquon Barkley and Josh Jacobs. This is because they both failed to reach an agreement on a long-term contract extension. Since Jacobs did not sign a 10.1 million franchise tender from the Las Vegas Raiders, he does not have to report to training camp. As for Saquon Barkley, according to NFL Network, he can only play on a tag without a long-term contract extension in place. Barkley reacted to the situation with this tweet. Also, a lot of running backs from around the league decided to chime in with their own opinion. Check it out. Now, Jacobs' contract status with the Raiders has been a storyline since the 2022 season. The team elected not to pick up the fifth-year option on his rookie contract, which would have been covered for this upcoming year. And now, he seems like someone who is worthy of a long-term deal. I mean, Jacobs led the league with 1,653 rushing yards last year. He also led the NFL with an average of 97.2 rushing yards per game and scored 12 touchdowns on the ground to go along with 53 catches for 400 yards. Trust me, I will know. He was with my fantasy team. Dude was balling. Yet, Las Vegas did not come to an agreement on a new contract. Losers. Barkley's situation got to this point simply because they decided to franchise tag him and give quarterback Daniel Jones a new contract this offseason instead. They really chose Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. Vanilla Vic over Saquon Barkley. I mean, Barkley is a two-time Pro Bowler, and he had a pretty good season himself. He had a career-best 1,312 rushing yards to go along with 10 touchdowns. Daniel Jones receiving the extension while he received the franchise tag is plain evidence of the running back position being devalued in today's NFL. So you may ask, why is the running back group being disrespected like this? Well, it's pretty simple. It's because of this group of guys right here. Le'Veon Bell signed for four years, 52 million. Ty Gurley signed for four years, 57.5 million. Ezekiel Elliott signed for six years, 90 million dollars. And then David Johnson, three years for 39 million. And after all these guys signed these crazy deals, their production dropped fast. And to make matters worse, they were all replaced with cheaper guys almost immediately. I mean, James Conner replaced Bell, CJ Anderson and Daryl Henderson and Cam Akers all replaced Todd Gurley, TP replaced Zeke, and King and Drake with a combination of Chase Edmonds replaced David Johnson. And those guys did a tremendous job for the low. So, I mean, the running back position is rough right now. I heard they made a group chat to try to make a move so they can get paid. I don't see it happening. I mean, think about it. The average lifespan of a running back is three to five years. And once those guys get paid, production drops. It is what it is because the teams are paying you this money. Oh, they're going to run you down to the ground. Look at Zeke. He doesn't have anything left in the tank anymore. Current day Zeke is different than 2016 day Zeke. And that's because we ran him down to the ground. But comment below your thoughts. Do you think they're doing a the running back position dirty? Or it is what it is. That position is devalued. And while you had to go ahead and leave a like. And like I always say, if you're an NFL fan, a Cowboy fan, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. But until next time, 